In this tutorial we're going to be going over how to change the walking speed of a character depending on their velocity. So when you first create a character in Blender you usually have a walk cycle for him, but the problem with it is you're not sure how fast it should go. Uh, especially if you have acceleration like servo control as your movement, then this is almost impossible to get right. He's always moving too fast or too slow. So in this tutorial, we're going to be scaling the sort of rate of animation based on how fast the character is actually moving. So just to show this working, it's fairly straightforward. Um, but here you can see he runs really fast and the animation speeds up. And then if we just let go and he slows down, then the animation slows down as well. So here I have the starting file with my character. He basically has a movement cube and he has a rig for his animations. So at the moment, if I press play and we walk around, you can see he moves, but the animation isn't fast enough uh, with the movement. So it looks like he's gliding along the floor. So the first thing we're going to do is with the player rig selected, as you can see here, we're going to give it a property and this here is going to be called frame. We'll make that an integer. Then on the armature, I'm going to go down to the walking animation. And from this, I'm going to choose property. And here we'll choose the property frame. Go to this right panel here. We're going to choose text editor. And then we're going to make ourselves a new text. And let's just call this uh, animation.py. So it's very important you have the .py, otherwise we can't call the module. So here what I'm going to do is just zoom in a bit and then import VGE or DEF to define a function and I'm going to call it uh, set frame and we'll pass the controller as a parameter. All right, so now what we want to do is we basically want to set up a delay within the player to allow us to slow down the animation and sort of skip some frames to make it run slower. The first thing I'll do is type in own is equal to cont.owner. If uh, delay not in own, then own delay is equal to zero. Enter shift tab to go back to unindented mode. And next, what we're going to do here is we're going to type in uh, current mag for current magnitude is equal to own dot parent dot gets linear velocity. So just to make sure that this is easier to see, we're going to drag it out. And I'm also going to select this option here. So it wraps the lines underneath. So basically here, current mag is own.parent.getLinearVelocity and we want the local linear velocity so I'm going to put in true and basically what this will be doing is the parent of our rig is the movement cube and we'll be getting the velocity of the movement cube so once we have the velocity it's going to return a vector we can't really deal with a vector we want to deal with a magnitude so we can just put dot magnitude and this will give us a numerical value uh, sort of representing how large a vector is. So I'm going to press enter and we're going to go to line 9, move it across a bit. So here I'm going to check the actual magnitude and determine if it's above a certain threshold. So if current mag is greater than 10, uh, then we're going to speed up the animation. So own frame plus what is equal to 2. Then we're going to press enter, shift tab, and then type in elif or else if uh, current mag is greater than 5. So here we're just going to have the standard sort of play rate of our animation. So here I'm going to type in own frame uh, plus what is equal to 1. So after the magnitude goes below 5 we need to start thinking about slowing down the animation. And this is where the delay property comes in handy. So what I'm going to do is again shift tab else if current magnitude is greater than 2.5 we'll do a colon and enter and here we need to determine whether the delay property is actually equal to zero. So if own delay is equal to zero then what we want to do is we want to add plus one. So we'll just copy and paste that in. However to slow this down we now need to add a delay. So what I'm going to do here is copy and paste this, press enter, and here we'll assign it to 1. And then we'll press enter, shift tab, else, 
and then own delay minus what is equal to 1. So here what we've done is we've basically checked whether delay is equal to 0. If it is, we'll add a frame and then we'll add delay is equal to 1. So basically the next time it checks, delay won't be equal to 0 anymore and instead it will execute this code here and just reduce delay by 1. So next we're going to be adding two more iterations of this. So I'm just going to select all of this, control C, and then enter, shift tab, shift tab, and then paste it in. So instead of 2.5, we're going to put uh, 1.25. So here what we'll do is instead of 1, we're going to add 2. And then we're going to paste this again. And this time, instead of uh, 1.25, we're going to put 0 0.675. And then this delay, we're going to be turning to 3. Once the magnitude gets below this, it's hardly moving, so it's not really worth doing anything about. But if you really wanted to, what you could do is you could type in else. So once it's below this, and now you could activate your idle animation. Uh, but just for this tutorial, we're just going to keep it nice and simple. So one more thing we need to do is once the frame property here reaches the maximum, so our animation frame, if we look at the walk animation, um, it was 60 frames long, I think. So what we need to do is we need to, once it reaches 60, we need to reset it back to zero to make sure that animation keeps looping. So at the bottom of it here, I'm going to press shift tab again twice, but this time we're going to create a new if statement. So if uh, own frame is greater than or equal to the maximum, which I think was 60, then what we're going to do is we're just going to simply reassign frame is equal to zero. So now that we've written the script, we're going to go over here and we're going to apply it to our character. So what I'm going to do is select the rig and then we'll go over here at a Python controller, choose module. And what we need to type in here is the name of our script, which is .py at the end. So animation and then dot and the function we want to call. So animation dot set frame. And here what we'll do is we will connect this to an always sensor. So always sensor on true. So it's always checking the magnitude. And then what we'll also do is we will add in a property and we'll make it frame has been changed. Then what I'm going to do is add another and controller and we're going to join these two together. And then we're going to press the up arrow to make it full screen. And we're just going to cut this one just by holding down control and going across. And then we're going to select this and controller and join it into our new animation can also check continue here so it's a bit smoother but basically that is all we have to do so now if we've done everything right it should work so numpad 0 scroll out a bit and press play and as you can see here we're moving quite fast and the animation is running a bit faster and then as we let go and slow down then the animation slows down so just to exaggerate this effect, we're going to go to the settings here and I'm going to turn up the dampening. And as you can see here, slows down and the animation slows down as well. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, feel free to leave a like, comment or share down below. All of that stuff is greatly appreciated. If you'd like to stay up to date, be sure to subscribe and hit that bell notification uh, so it actually shows up in your feed. But apart from that, hope you enjoyed the video. Have an awesome week and I'll see you guys in the next one.